The trebuchet thing right here was invented by the Chinese sometime before the 12th century. And around the 12th century, the European nations picked it up and they improved it. The Chinese originally had it. A whole bunch of guys pulled on the counter, pulled with ropes on the other end. And uh, that made it go. It wasn't very efficient and it was usually pretty dangerous. Uh, the European nations got it and they added the counterweight. There was another design where it's a fixed counterweight and then you put wheels on it. It helps it give it the right motion to throw whatever you're throwing farther. They are originally about 200 feet tall and they... They were originally 200 feet tall and they threw about 300 pound granite balls. This is only about 20 when the uh, arm's up. Yeah, it was about 10 times. Was it again? Was it again? Was it about 200 feet tall? What? The, the, the werewolf? I don't remember. No. Well, the first European trebuchet that was uh, that is recorded was called the werewolf. It was used in the, in the uh, Scottish-English battle of uh, it was, it was in Stirling. The English used it to take the castle of Stirling. It was one of the most powerful castles of the time. It could pulverize about a uh, five foot thick wall in one hit. It was, uh, it was considered the end of castles. It ended most uses in castles until the cannon came along and that really finished it. Ready? You ready? Yep. Gonna try. Three.